Today I am going to show you how to make a real-time object det detection Android application using your smartphone. Just six steps. So this is quite simple. So, so in the background we are going to use the TensorFlow and also the ImageNet dataset. We can classify 86, more than 86 objects in real time. So I'm going to show you the video how I implemented and how it works. My Android application can detect the the and the remote, the television, the bottle, and the watch and everything. So now we can jump into the how to implement this Android application in just six steps. Let's see. So the first steps you need to install Android Studio. So which is here, you need to go to the developer.android.com and download Android Studio, which I already installed. This is the ID of Android uh, Studio. So you trust me, you will not get any kind of trouble you, you are downloading and installing. It's pretty much easy. So go to the next step. And then if you don't have Python installed on your Mac or whatever PC you are going to use, if you don't have, you have two options. Either you can install Python plain installation, which will be more difficult. If you use Anaconda, which is very good good to use the Python and the, all the packages will be included in your installation. For example, I, I install Anaconda Navigator, this is Navigator by backend. I have the Anaconda and within the Anaconda I have Python and all the packages and also the TensorFlow is built in and it is installed inside the Anaconda. So this is the beauty of the Anaconda. Then, uh, yeah, so we did the installation Tensor Flow because it is already in the in the uh, if I s show you, this is the Anaconda. Inside the Anaconda, there is a leaf, and then Python 2.6 site packages Tensor Flow. And then examples, and inside the examples, you will you might not find the Android folder initially. So that's why you need to uh, download the TensorFlow TensorFlow manually, JIT clone. So you will just open a terminal, and you will put the this common JIT clone. JIT, uh, sorry. So, if you press enter, the TensorFlow will be downloaded in your in your folder JIT. Yeah, which I, which I can show you also. This is already installed here JIT. TensorFlow. So inside the JIT, so when you enter the command, after then you will find the TensorFlow folder inside the, your username. Yes, and inside the TensorFlow there is examples and Android. So this Android folder you will copy and paste into the into your 
I mean the anaconda folder folder yes that's done and then the step step 4 is open Android studio and select open an existing Android studio okay I'll close it and I'll reopen for you so this window you will show for the first first time and you will choose select open an existing Android projects so and you will select the the Android folder you just copied in the inside the anaconda so you will uh, you will link this path and from yes then click OK it, it asks you to do the uh, gradle sync and then click OK and also when you first time you you will link up with your Android folder it will it will ask you to install the various platforms and tools um, manually just click on it and it will take uh, trust me it will not trouble you anything it will be smooth and no problem at all and so okay for example I have already there so I will open the folder here and then the the fifth step is open the build.gradle file so where is the gradle file actually this is the gradle script and then you will open yes this is the gradle file here you see you have to change something which is uh, which is native build system build system you, you make it you previously it was basil and created the now place it with the now this is the step 5 and then <coughs> then step 6 click the run button yeah before before clicking the run button maybe uh, it would ask something to do so you will just click OK and everything, follow the steps, no problem at all. So finally, your initially maybe your green button, green run button will not be active yet. But if you follow the procedure and click the next and OK, then your green button will be activated. And you just, you will run the Android button. But before that, you need to connect your smartphone with, with the cables so it's very easy before connecting your smartphone should be like uh, should be activated the developer options so i, I uh, if you don't know how to activate the developer settings and at the down the developer options so you need to turn on and also the also the turn on the user usb debugging then you can download you can run your android application and you can copy into the uh, into the smart into your smart device even you can download it and you can run it so for example i already downloaded but i can show you how to download so just just uh, try to connect your device and here you will you will press the green button so when you will press the green button you see a pop-up message will show here and it will it will appear and you just press on the press on the ok then when you click on the green button run so it will build and run your program and it will create three apk the first one is uh, tensor detect and tensor classify and tensor stylizer the currently they knew another one which is speech so <clears throat> after after downloading your application inside the inside the smart device then you can you can uh, it's done so you can just uh, run this application so I can show you 
run this application here yes there are three so maybe you cannot show you cannot see the see the screen tf classify tf detect and tf specify speech and also the tf stylizer so uh, yeah so that's that's done thank you very much to for watching this video and the next will be how to train how to train your own data set using the TensorFlow, and you can download it make it uh, more more uh, detection because you know uh, currently we are using inception version 3 which is uh, ImageNet, ImageNet and it, it has thousands of image classifiers a class image image classes that means types of image for example tiger cat and uh, zebra so all the images we have here if I show you something like uh, yeah these are the images image net so airplane bicycle birds boards car so etc it can detect anything that we have in our data set so the next uh, stay tuned the next video will be how to train your own data set and how to make an android device with your own data set and how to detect the fully different